Alrighty gang, today's video is going to be how to shave, well, my tips and tricks on how to shave down there. I feel like I haven't been on YouTube in a long time, even though it's been like a week maybe, I feel like forever. So today's video, I thought what video better to do than a video for my girls. It's going to be my tips and tricks and the way I get a good shave down there because, um big on that and like i'm i'm big on hygiene too so i'll give you guys my tips and tricks on what i do to get a close smooth shave so if you guys see that keep watching if you are already subscribed make sure you subscribe down below comment down below what you guys want to see next even though y'all be doing it and make sure you hit that thumbs up button and click the video okay now first things first i wrote down everything being a content creator is a lot harder than you think it starts off easy as heck but like as you get into it like i've been doing youtube for a year now but like as you get into it it's just like whoa whoa you know what i'm saying but um so i wrote it down on this little book you know what i'm saying first thing is rule number one you cannot you cannot not forget this because this is very detrimental this will make or break your shaving okay for okay now before i go into this i want to say if you choose to not shave down there if you choose to, if you choose to keep your hair down there if you want to keep the fro alive go ahead i i support okay if you this is for this could be for you and because I got tips for people like that and this could be for people who wants to get rid of their hair I am one of those people you do not have to get rid of your hair you can live your life hairy bald however you want to you're beautiful and you're a woman either way okay like a lot of people is gonna see us and be like who don't know how to shave but believe it or not there are a lot of people out there that don't know how or don't have anyone to teach them or whatever and this could be for guys too guys shave you know what I'm saying shaving is just like in my opinion it's very hygienic it's a very important part of my hygiene routine so rule number one if your hair is on the longer side do trim it okay you have it's very important that you trim before you shave you cannot have no george bush down there and trying to shave if you 20 years to do that second of all it's gonna you're gonna nick yourself it's gonna hurt and it's just it, it just ain't gonna be nice what you want to do is you want to trim that hair girl trim 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 that hair okay get it low as you possibly can with some hair cutting scissors or like some tiny little you know what i'm saying scissors trim it okay trim it don't be trying to shave that bush don't do it don't do it you've been warned okay number two is pick a good razor don't use the cheap ones, okay? Because I know some people that use like dollar store, uh, dollar store razors and stuff like that, um, and ones that have three or more blades, okay? Elaborate on the Dollar Tree razors. Those get dull easily. Those will irritate you easily, and those will nick you easily, okay? Those aren't made with care. So I do like uh, Chic Hydro. I like Gillette. Bomb, just let us bomb, 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 and so it's Chic Hydro. So they expensive razors, but they are razors that you can use more than once, and you can get the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The ones that you can detach and put them back on there that you can change. I don't know what I'm thinking of, but yeah, you they have those. You want to get ones with three or more blades. If you get ones that have like one blade, two blades, baby girl. You just wasting your time trying to shave because that is not gonna cut it like you need one with three or more blades so i feel like five and six is over i don't i don't know i've never shaved with five or six blade razors but if you have let me know how that works but no i don't know how i feel about that razors that have like four or three or stuff like that you see what i'm saying don't shave with no single or double razor blades like what? Men's razors are better because they're made for their face, so they're supposed to. It's made with care because you're touching your face, and then it's just it just you, men razors just get a closer shave. You know what I'm saying? It's just they just better, and that's just that's just that. Three. Shaving in the shower. This is also essential. I don't know who shaves out of the shower. 
I don't know who does that, but me personally, I think it's better for you to shave in the shower. Why? Shave in the shower, when you get in the shower and you allow your body. So what I do is I wash my body first. So that way my cooch got to handle it, the heat and the steam just really, really absorb into, you know, that follicle and those pores, you know what I'm saying? And what it does is it softens up the hair and opens up the cuticle. So when you go to shave, it's way easier. The razor glides is just way, way easier, okay? Just that in general. Number four is exfoliate. This is essential, okay? If you want a smooth, bald, poom poom, baby, you gotta exfoliate. You got, and this is for legs too. Oh my gosh, your legs gonna be so smooth, child. <laughs> if you exfoliate. Now, personally, my favorite thing to exfoliate with is an exfoliating glove i had i don't know what happened to it i have to get another one but you can simply and easily get them from the dollar store only thing i don't recommend getting from the dollar store when it comes to this is razors but anything else like they have exfoliating gloves and they work just like they're not too rough and they're not too gentle they're just the right amount of exfoliant and i'm telling you, you just want to get down there you just want to exfoliate real good with that glove make sure you use that glove only for down there and like you can use it in your legs you know what i'm saying but don't be using that glue for stuff it's not supposed to be used for. Good, get the area real good, you know what I'm saying? And then when you go to shave, girl, that razor gonna be glad and sliding, and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is so smooth. Like I'm telling you, you're gonna, you're gonna thank, thank, thank me later, thank me later, okay? Come back and thank me, okay? Really helps you, like, it lifts up all those razor grumps and ingrown hairs so you can really get them, you know what I'm saying? Keeps you from getting ingrown hairs. Number five is mix coconut oil with coffee grounds or exfoliate. Oh, well, that's part of what... That's really the same thing, I guess. But you can use coconut oil and mix it with coffee grounds to get a natural sugar... I mean, I don't know, to get a natural exfoliator scrub okay so you can exfoliate don't go inside just yourself with it please don't um i actually this exfoli exfoliating glove is a lot safer but you can use a coconut oil and the coffee scrub one that is actually great for bringing like the the color of your skin back to life rejuvenate the skin is good for dead skin cells it just it's just all around good the coconut oil and the coffee grounds is good i'm telling you Use conditioner or coconut oil as a shaving cream. Now, I know you're like, conditioner? Conditioner? Yes. I use conditioner. So, I use conditioner because it gives you... It like, okay, when you put conditioner in your hair, what are you putting in your hair for? To make your hair softer and more moisturized, right? I got this from YouTuber. I think her name is um, African Beauty. I think that's what that is. I think that's who I got it from. But it was like a really old video. I've been doing that conditioner stuff for years now. Um, but conditioner is meant to soften and moisturize your hair. So when you use it down there, ain't no limit to the results we get. And coconut oil works good too because it's antibacterial. And it, ha it creates a protective barrier because when you shave your um skin is like you have it's not exactly a cut but it's like it's open you know what i'm saying so with coconut oil and shaving even after you shave do apply some type of moisturizer which is coconut oil and it gives you a barrier so you're not like you know what i'm saying out here lacking you know what i'm saying um number seven is shave on a clean area this is important this is important do clean your i clean my my you know downstairs area first and then shave because you don't want to shave and it's it's bacteria and it's dirty down there because you just allow bacteria to get into the pores when you shave because like i said when you shave it's open you have open pores like you just open it up and stuff can easily get in there and get get razor bumps and infections and stuff like that so the next one is be gentle, okay? I can vouch for this. If you're not being gentle, you will hurt yourself, okay? Some people want to go down and just yam, yam, yam. No, you can't do that because this is, this is a cooch we're talking about. Even with your legs, even with your underarms, you have to be gentle because if you're being rough, you will, you're bound to nick yourself, okay? Um, 
Now I ain't saying you gotta move like a turtle or like a grandma. Just make sure you're doing smooth, gentle strokes. You know what I'm saying? Be gentle. Take your time. If you, if you, if you ain't going nowhere, you don't need the brush, okay? Girl, close it though. Make sure when you do this, um, when you're shaving down there, because I, make sure you can see because when you're shaving down there, um, it's it's easier to dick yourself when you're shaving down there. So make sure you can see because I actually this is a little TMI, but I actually get my butt crack. I don't know about everybody else, but I get my butt cracked. So I have to be able to see what I'm doing. Now, actually, I don't know about everybody else, but I've been doing it for so long. Like, I'm so used to shaving and I've been doing it for so long that I can actually shave without a mirror and actually get it all off. Like, I'm I'm used to doing it, not trying to, you know, to my horn nothing, but beep, beep, you know what I'm saying? But I actually been doing it long enough. And then if the hair is short, it's like, it's so much easier to shave. Like, if it's short, like, you know what I'm saying? Do, um, so, yeah, that's, you know, that's what I do, you know. But make sure you can see if you, like, new to this, make sure you can see because you do not want to nick yourself. Um. It was something I just wanted to say. Oh, okay. So now a lot of people may ask, like, does shaving every day result negatively? Now, I am not a person who shaves every single day. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you like that. I will not. Me personally, I like to give my body parts that I shave time to breathe. So the most that I'll go without shaving is like three days. That's the most, okay? That is the most. I won't go no longer than that because then you're rubbing dark and around here looking like who done it and why. You know what I'm saying? I look like a whole man out here, okay? And I don't want that. So, because I'm, I'm Mexican and black. So, I'm, you know, that Mexican said be coming out and I be a little hairy. So, I know I know my mixed girls know what I'm talking about. Even if you're not mixed, you can be hairy. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like that plays a big role. But you do not have to shave every day. That is not necessary. Um, I actually think it's beneficial to, you know what I'm saying, give your body parts that you shave time to heal. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like every day you just add it. You just add it, You know what I'm saying? But some people like that. If you do that and you are just fine, please let the ladies down in the comments know. You know what I'm saying? So, last thing. And then we're going to go ahead and end this video. Um... If you don't like to shave, that is totally okay. That is 100% okay. You should not feel any different about that. That is your body, okay? But do try to keep it low. Do try to keep it to a bare minimum because it is scientifically proven. It is facts, okay? You can Google this. That hair traps odor. It traps bacteria and it traps odor, okay? This is facts. If you don't believe me, try it yourself. Let you have a bush, see, be sweating and all that, and see the odor, and then try to trimming it low or cutting it or shaving it, and you'll see a big, big, big difference. Because if there's no hair down there, there's nothing for the smell to hold on to or linger on to, you know what I'm saying? So just try to keep it to a minimum because it's very hygienic. It will help eliminate odors and minimize odors. So I do highly recommend that. So... I hope you guys like this video. Y'all better because y'all just better. But if y'all like this video, make sure you thumbs up, comment down below what you guys want to see next. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, pretty gang.